In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Replay Mod with shaders for Minecraft 1.14.4 using Fabric. With both of these you'll be able to make awesome time lapses and cinematics in no time. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys what we're going to do or what you guys are going to do is jump into the description of this video and we've got a couple of links that you need to get up. We've got the fabricmc.net, we've got the replaymod.com, uh, uh, also got Optifabric as well, so there's curseforge.com, Optifabric, uh, Optifine, and also we've got Trilliton Shaders. I'm just going to show you how to do one shader pack install uh, from this. Um, it's kind of like the same with all the other shader packs, you just drag and drop. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave it in the description at least, uh, the link to the Sildas uh, shaders as well as Zeus as well, in case you want to try out a couple different ones. First thing we're going to do anyway is jump onto the fabricmc.net, that's the first link that's in the description. And we're just going to click on this button here where it says to install fabric you need to uh, need the fabric loader which you can download here. So click on that button there. That will take you to a page. For us we're going to go onto the vanilla version. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be downloading the .exe. So I'm a Windows, .exe is um, natively run on Windows as ex executables. Um, but if you are on something like the Mac or anything like that, or Linux, um, then you can use the .jar file. But if there is any issues that you come across with the .jar file, if you're doing that, I have got a video that can show you how to basically repair Java, um, as well as uh, running something called JarFix and running it via command line. I'll link that in the description. It's actually on my Shaders 1.14.4 video. So click on that .exe file if we're going to go through this way. And then that's all done. I'm just going to drag that and drop that onto my desktop like that and we're just going to run this so double click on it and you might get something like this if we just go onto this here uh, we're just going to do run anyway um, this is the first time I've actually had it come up with this but it's absolutely fine from that website uh, it's just because .exe files, .jar files that kind of stuff if they don't know about them they got, look, got AVG cyber capture which is very strange um, if they don't know about them then um, yeah, it, it will flag it automatically, so that's the first time it's happened with me. And for me, for some reason, the AVG capture type thing uh, has kind of crashed, and then it's just opened up this like normal, which is fine, that's what I usually get. Um, but for this, yeah, Minecraft version we want is 1.14.4, you can see snapshots if you wanted to and click that button. Uh, loader version, always go with the latest, and this is my install location. If yours is slightly different on your PC when you set it up, then change it. But we do want it to create a profile, so press install. And then that's done, that's the fabric side of it. So the next bit that we're actually going to do is uh, just check that that's all installed okay. So we go onto the Minecraft launcher. And then with the Minecraft launcher, I'm just going to go onto the installations tab. You can see here we got the 1.14 fabric and you can see the fabric loader in there. Uh, so if you wanted to, you know, rename it or anything, it might yours might be called something different. Mine's just picked it up from last time. Uh, and if we just go on to edit, uh, you can then just edit the name if you wanted to. Uh, also, if you want to go onto the more options button, you can also change this value right here if you have want to allocate more RAM to it. I'm allocating 8 gigs. I'm actually going to go with 12. I'm going to boost this up because I'm doing shaders and replay. So just click on save with that one. So uh, next things up is going to be actually doing the modding side of it. So we just open up a normal folder, your file explorer. In the address bar here, we're going to do percent app data percent. So that's what we're going to do, percent app data percent. And uh, if you've done anything with like resource packs, shader packs, etc. and so forth, you'll be familiar with this. Uh, it's like the most common Minecraft thing to do. And that should take you to your roaming folder and they can double click on your .minecraft. And in here, there, well, if you haven't run it once, there won't be a mods folder. If you have run it at least once, you will have a mods folder. Um, so if not, you can create a new folder for it. And then just open that up. For me, I'm going to clean that out, ignore that you saw that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go into the next kind of steps of this. Which, first off, what we'll do is we actually need the Fabric API. So if we go onto the main fabricmc.net use uh, site, we're going to go back. And then you've got this link here, Fabric API for Minecraft 1.14 and above, which is just in this installation bit. We do need that API. Most Fabric mods do need it anyway. From here, we're going to click on to Files. And then we're just going to download the latest one. So let that do its thing. And that shouldn't take too long to actually get through that. So there we go, that's downloaded. Uh, again, it will come up with a warning. .jar files, like I was saying before, do get kind of um, flagged as, as being harmful, but they aren't. So just go and keep with that one. And once that's done, here we go. we're going to drag that and drop that into the mods folder there. 
And then what we can do is we can actually close that. We don't need any more fabric stuff. We're going to go on to replay mod this time and we're going to click on download. Uh, I would advise going through it via the mirror. Um, my one actually gets completely blocked. I can't get any further using the AdFly link, which is the main one. So click on the mirror link. Uh, it'll stop you from having issues and you'll see, please only use the mirror if the main download doesn't work for you as the main download supports the mod, yeah. So uh, via AdFly, they'll actually earn a little bit of money from that, uh, which is why they say that. For some reason that didn't work for me. Let's just do OK again. There we go. That worked that time. Uh, just click on Keep. And then again, drag that one into here. So now we've got uh, Fabric API, we've got the replay mod in there. So again, we can close this one. Then the next thing that we've actually got is we've got Opti Fabric. So if we go on to files on this page, now Opti Fabric, so Optifine doesn't natively work with Fabric. Opti Fabric bridges the gap. It, it kind of uh, fills in fills in the gap and allows it to work. So if you click on download and then wait until that's all done. There we go, and again, click on keep. You always get that message. Um, I've seen it thousands of times now. And just drag and drop that one into the mods folder. And again, we're done with OptiFabric. Go on to the Optifine link, and this is where we're going to have our downloads. And uh, we got 1.14.4. And uh, we'll just gr grab the latest one and just do download on that. And this will take you via AdFly. The reason I go for AdFly is because you get some money. And for, for some reason, this AdFly link works for me. Um, so I can go on to continue. Yeah, this one works for me. The one on replay mod doesn't. It just stops me uh, and then when you finally get to this you can do skip ad however if you do have any issues at all or you're worried use the mirror link it'll just go directly to it if you don't see this pop up so the actual download at all um, make sure that you're using something like Chrome uh, Internet Explorer and also uh, Safari people have reported issues as well as various ad blockers as well so ad blockers that people have got on their uh, computer for some reason are making this link disappear as well so there's lots of little things that you can actually have not really go wrong but that kind of like trip you up. But anyway, again, click, click on keep. And then drag and drop that into the folder. And we can close that. And for the shaders, if we just go all the way down, we're going to go with the one point, uh, version 8, 1.13 um, ready. So we're going to click on those ones. That'll take you to the main kind of um, media file link. And then we just got this download button at the top. Again, with loads of. Um, loads and loads of adverts and stuff like that you can see that my ad block has actually successfully blocked mine so there we go we'll get those shaders as well um, for me if we go back to the main folder I already have a shaders packs kind of like folder in there you can create it or you can let it be created when you actually start the mod uh, but for me just to save a little bit of time I'm gonna drag and drop that in um, into yeah, the shader packs folder um, so it's nice and simple but it's just your, you know whatever dot minecraft uh, backslash shader packs so and drop that in you'll notice I haven't unzipped it I haven't done anything else it's just as is and that is almost it for this side we actually need to do ffmpeg as well so um, there'll be another link in the description which I forgot to tell you guys about where we're going to be doing something with ffmpeg this is to do with rendering out replays um, so if we go through at least setting that up very quickly so go to the main link that I give you guys uh, then go on to this download link on the side here or download uh, page so you get this get the packages down here uh, for me it's gonna be Windows that was really strange Windows <laughs> and then uh, go on to Windows builds here under the Windows packages and you'll get this kind of thing uh, and then just do on go on to download build like that so next up what we got to do is we will go for, for me I've got two different drives I've got a C drive and I've got a D drive uh, my C is just for operating system type stuff or at least that's how I try to keep it and my D drive I have pretty much everything else on there for me I've created a folder already because I've already got FFmpeg um, but I've already created a folder on there uh, it's up to you guys if you wanted to do the same you don't have to at all um, but you know store it somewhere that makes sense you know I've got these two versions as you can see and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna delete this one because I know that this will be the same version so I'm gonna delete my old version you don't have to do that again you probably don't have it uh, and I'm just gonna go show in folder on this I'm gonna double click on this and this folder inside here so this folder inside the zip file you guys might have it where um, for example WinRAR automatically is opening it and you get that same kind of thing where you can just drag and drop it uh, but drag this folder and drop it into the FFmpeg folder that you've just created again doesn't have to be called that at all 
and there we go, that should start copying over, and now we've got that. So that's um, that's how you install FFmpeg anyway, it's nice and easy, and I'll show you how to point uh, replay mod to it as well, nice and easy. Really, really good. Right, okay, so if we now close, we're not going to close that one, close this web page though. We can close that download. So we've got this one where FFmpeg is. Uh, we're now going to go on to the Minecraft launcher that we opened earlier. And we're going to go and play. By the way, guys, if this hasn't appeared at all, then what you need to do is just close the launcher and reopen it. Um, and then if it really isn't there, just rerun that fabric.exe uh, or .jar and just check that the location of where your Minecraft is actually located is there as well. So we're just going to click on play. And when, well, we're just going to wait for Minecraft to fully load up and I'll show you how to do the next bit. And there we go. So after a little bit of time, it's all loaded up. If you did have any issues with this loading up, always check your game output. Uh, so there was, as, for example, for me, there's a couple of errors to do with uh, getting pack data from resource packs, uh, field not found, but nothing that actually has caused any sort of crashes. Uh, also, yeah, if it has crashed, do check your crash log and do, yeah, make sure that you haven't got any other mods at all in there that are causing any sort of upset. So for me, I've just gone with the ones that I've shown you guys today. So if you do, um, have replay mod installed you what you'll get then is this uh, login to replay mod and I'm just going to go on to skip and then we can see down here Optifine 1.40.4 and also Fabric that's really good so they're both layered over the top of each other um, so if you go into options and then video settings then you should have this shaders kind of uh, folder here and you can see for me I've got shaders on there so I can actually see those shaders I can load those up uh, which is really, really cool, so I'm just going to load those up quickly, there we go. And I'm going to switch it actually back to internal for the time being. I'll show you, you know, you don't have to have shaders on to actually uh, render out a replay in shaders, it's really cool. So yeah, we've got that on there. Um, but again, if you guys didn't have that shaders folder, you can click on the shaders folder from here and drag and drop in like something like Trillitons or Sildas or something like that. You can do all those. So we just do done and then done and then done. We're going to go on to single player. And I'm going to do the worst time lapse ever, so single player here. Then what you'll notice with replay mod is you get this record single player in the top. So that's got the X. And with multiplayer, you'll get the record server at the top here. And if it's got the X on it, it means it will record it. So we're going to go onto this. We're going to go onto a single player map and load that up. And here we go. So we're in there. I can see a big recording button at the top. And we've also got the re replay mod down here. Record uh, ugh, Recording started. I'm just going to knock these down. I'm going to do something like just like hardly anything at all. I'm going to even place down farmland. You know, something like this. Not really worrying about what's going on and that'll do. I'm going to destroy those fires and I'm just going to stand here. And that's it. That's going to be my replay. So I'm just going to go on to escape and do save and quit title. Uh, always make sure as well, if you're doing replays, especially long ones, wait until it appears in this replay viewer. If you do something like building for an hour, uh, it will take a little while to actually appear in here. So for me, I've got an older one, which I'm going to delete because I don't actually need that. And I've got one here. So make sure it appears in here before closing out of Minecraft, otherwise you can lose your replay. And all we're going to do here is do load. So I'll load that 30 seconds of incredible time lapse. I'm going to press on pause. Uh, if you press on escape, you can then start to move around. And if you press uh, like T, for example, then you can press the actual buttons in here. I will do a full in-depth video on replay at some point. Uh, we're going to put just two, basically, t time frame here. We're also going to do a positional key, uh, keyframe here. And what we'll do is actually do that for, let's say, set 10 seconds. Skip to the end of the top here. And just like that, shove that in there. And if we just press play on the bottom here, what we'll see is we've got my little dude here. He's just breaking some stuff and uh, that's pretty much it. Just putting some farmland down. He gets a load of smoke in his face and etc. and so forth. Then gets rid of that. Nice and simple. So let's get shaders on. So um, yeah, you don't have to do it all the way. So you can go into in here and press escape. Go into options. Go into video settings. You can change everything on here for the actual camera. We're going to go into shaders. I'm going to load up Trilliton shaders. And there we go. Look, now we've got shaders in here as well. So for me, what I usually do is, uh, if I'm rendering out something, I'll actually go into post-process. Um, motion blur is already off. That's good. But I'll also turn off. I'm just looking for it. There you go. <laughs> DOF, depth of field. Uh, also turn that off. Usually when I'm doing time lapses, you don't have to. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Time lapses or uh, cinematics or anything like that. Uh, it's up to you guys. You can also uh, extend the render distance. But, uh, you know, the chunks have to have been loaded in the first place in order for that to work. 
If we now press on play, what you'll see is we now got it with the shaders. Okay, so how do we actually render that out? And why do we do the FFmpeg type bit? Um, so that's nice and easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this render camera path. And if we just scroll down, we're going to leave all those settings normal. Uh, for you guys, you will... Actually, that's exactly what you're going to have. Right, so for me, I've got a load of stuff to delete. Because mine has carried over from when I've tried this out already. But um, yeah, you'll probably have that as blank in the command part of it. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our folder structure again. Where we had installed, or where we had not really installed, made a folder for FFmpeg. And I'm going to copy this. What I'm going to do is just show you guys what I'm doing in Notepad. It's a lot clearer. So we've got this folder is where I've got mine. I'm just going to do another backslash. And then we need to do this ffmpeg.exe file is where we're going to be going and shoving that in. So that's at least for Windows. So that is the path that I need to actually put into it. So I'm just going to copy that. And in this little command box here, I'm just going to paste. And now I can press on render. And then that is going to render our time lapse out, which is really cool. So that shouldn't take too long to do. And there we go, it should start rendering. So for me, mine actually crashed. So I've actually had to um, not really start again. I still had the exact same replay, but for some reason mine crashed. I couldn't come to uh, the reason why. But uh, there we go, it has actually done that. So just to prove that that's all working, what I'm gonna do is go into my .minecraft folder up here, and you'll see this replay videos kind of folder. And in here, what we should have, there we go, I'm just gonna delete my old one. So it started to actually write that file, but did not successfully do it for some reason and locked up. We would just double click on this. So for whatever reason, my video players aren't playing ball today and they're like really glitchy. Uh, so I've actually opened it up in Sony Vegas and that is absolutely fine. So that has actually come across uh, perfect really. Obviously one thing I did forget is uh, probably to put down the right time points and that's why I've just got this static shot instead, but that's absolutely fine. Also my skin's missing, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's due to uh, me having the crash and reloading and it just hasn't for some reason loaded my skin but um that is it guys that is how you can make awesome time lapses in uh in minecraft 1.14.4 with shaders using the replay mod uh, so it's pretty damn cool hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one